everyone. I'm here at the Bible reading. I hope you're having a good day. Let's go, um, go through our prayer requests. Please keep the following people in prayer. Sherm, Rhonda Karchner, Luke, Emma, and Bridget Balls, Cindy and Jim, Layla and her son Emil, Danette Rager, Joyce Light, Dora Carper, Jimmy Myers, Abby and Liam, Pat Dempsey, Wetzel Dempsey, Ray and Donna Dunlap, Randy Post, Elizabeth Jeffries and her grandson Dominic, Bonnie Jean, Cohen Richmond, and Melly Stanley. Okay, and we're going to be reading today Romans chapter 14. Psalm 24 and Proverbs chapter 20 verse 12. Okay, so let's get started here in chapter 14 of Romans. Accept the one whose faith is weak without quarreling over disputable matters. One person's faith allows them to eat anything, but another whose faith is weak eats only vegetables. The one who eats everything must not treat with contempt the one who does not, and the one who does not eat everything must not judge the one who does. For God has accepted them. Who are you to judge someone else's servant? To their own master servants stand or fall and they will stand, for the Lord is able to make them stand. One person considers one day sacred than another. Another considers every day alike. Each of them should be fully convinced in their own mind. Whoever regards one day as special does so to the Lord. Whoever eats meat does so to the Lord, for they give thanks to God. And whoever abstains does so to the Lord and gives thanks to God. For none of us lives for ourselves alone, and none of us dies for ourselves alone. If we live, we live for the Lord. And if we die, we die for the Lord. So whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. For this very reason, Christ died and returned to life, so that he might be the Lord of both the dead and the living. You then, why do you judge your brother or sister? Or why do you treat them with contempt? For we will stand, all stand, before God's judgment seat. It is written, As surely as I live, says the Lord, Every knee will bow before me. Every tongue will acknowledge God. So then, each of us will give an account of ourselves to God. Therefore, let us stop passing judgment on one another. Instead, make up your mind not to put any stumbling block or obstacle in the way of a brother or sister. I am convinced, being fully persuaded, in the Lord Jesus, that nothing is unclean in itself. But if anyone regards something as unclean, then for that person it is unclean. If your brother or sister is distressed because of what you eat, you are no longer acting in love. Do not, by your eating, destroy someone for whom Christ died. Therefore, do not let what you know is good be spoken of as evil. For the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, but of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Because anyone who serves Christ in this way is pleasing to God and receives human approval. Let us therefore make every effort to do what leads to peace and to mutual edification. Do not destroy the work of God for the sake of food. All food is clean, 
but it is wrong for a person to eat anything that causes someone else to stumble. It is better not to eat meat or drink wine or to do anything else that will cause your brother or sister to fall. So whatever you believe about these things, keep between yourselves and God. Blessed is the one who does not condemn himself by what he approves, but whoever has doubts is condemned if they eat, because their eating is not from faith, and everything that does not come from faith is sin. And that was Romans chapter 14. Okay, and our psalm today is Psalm 24. It is a psalm of David. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. For he founded it on the seas and established it on the waters. Who may ascend to the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? The one who has clean hands and a pure heart who does not trust in an idol or swear by a false god, they will receive blessing from the Lord and vindication from God their Savior. Such is the generation of those who seek Him, who seek your face, God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, you gates. Be lifted up, you ancient doors that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, you gates. Lift them up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is he, this King of glory? The Lord almighty, he is the King of glory. And that was Psalm 24 of David, a song. So true, right? And so beautiful. And let's see. The King of glory is God. We know that. Don't we? Mighty in power. It's sad some people are going to find out the hard way. It's sad. Because no matter what you do, some people just aren't going to believe or they don't care. No matter how hard you try or other people try to lead them to God, they just don't want to, or they don't believe. You know, so it's, it's just sad. All right, Proverbs chapter 20, verse 12. Ears that hear and eyes that see, the Lord has made them both. Ears that hear and eyes that see, the Lord has made them both. Not evolution, the Lord. All right, guys, that was our Bible reading for today. I hope it touched your hearts. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Let's bring those souls to Jesus and God willing. We'll see you guys again soon with another Bible reading. Bye, guys. God bless.